So there's been a lot of talk in the Paper Mario community about Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door running at 30 FPS instead of 60 like in the original. So I thought that in this video I'd just talk about that and pretty much just rant and say my opinions on it. So starting off, I don't really see the issue here. I mean sure, the original ran at 60 FPS, but that's a GameCube game. It didn't really take much processing power to run Paper Mario. And this game is a humongous graphical upscale. I mean look at how nice this is compared to the GameCube version, so you can't really compare the two. And I really don't see what the issue is of it running at 30 FPS. A lot of people are complaining that the action commands will be off because it's all about timing, but Nintendo will have a solution for that. I'm not sure if it's confirmed, but I heard that there's more frames to be able to guard in Super Guard, so this really isn't an issue. And obviously the timing is going to be tweaked since it's running at 30 FPS. The Origami King and Color Splash both ran at 30 FPS, and the combat wasn't a problem. 60 FPS just isn't mandatory for this game. I mean, yeah, it would be nice to have 60 FPS, but having 30 won't kill the game. So many people on Twitter are complaining about how the game is ruined since it's running at 30 FPS. And there just isn't a problem with it running at 30 FPS. A lot of Nintendo games still run at 30 FPS. And I know Mario RPG ran at 60 FPS, but this game has a humongous graphical upgrade. I know Mario RPG does look really nice, but this game is like over the top. And I don't see why 60 FPS has to be mandatory for Paper Mario. I understand it's all about timing, but there'll be more frames in between the Super Guard and Guard. So comparing it to the GameCube version just doesn't make any sense. I'm going to read some Twitter posts about the situation. Someone says the old Paper Mario was 60 FPS and the new one is 30 FPS. Another Switch remake letdown. Those Paper Mario games weren't as graphically advanced as this one, and they were on older consoles. Not only is this a huge graphical upgrade, but it's also running in handheld mode. And how is this a letdown? It still looks amazing and it's going to run perfectly fine. The average gamer won't be able to tell the difference between 30 and 60 FPS, so it's really not that big of a deal. And another person says, I was excited for Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door remake, but the more I learn about it, the less I feel like paying full price. Change the lines I need to look more into, but the bigger issue is downgrading FPS from 60 to 30 makes zero sense for Switch to run worse than GameCube. Well, talking about the first part, this remake is definitely worth the 60 bucks. There's way more new content, new music, and just overall more features than the GameCube version. And the GameCube version is like $70 right now, so why would you buy the GameCube version over the Switch? And to change the lines, I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. It's just dialogue, and it's not even important to the story. It's like minor changes. I mean, does anyone really care that Goombella isn't getting catcalled in Rogue Port Sewers anymore? I don't think so. And most stuff isn't even censored or changed in the remake, like the noose. And again, it makes sense that it runs worse because the GameCube version wasn't as graphically advanced as this version. And this game is also going to run in handheld mode. The GameCube was meant to be a home console, not the Switch. It's also a hybrid. So it makes sense for it to run at 30 FPS if you're taking it in handheld mode. Because again, the Origami King runs completely fine and there's no issues with it. So I don't know why people are still complaining about this. I'd much rather have it run as a consistent 30 FPS than it running at 60 and stuttering sometimes. Because certain Switch games do have an issue of stuttering, and it's kind of annoying and distracting from the game. At 60 FPS, there might be a high chance that this game would stutter in more demanding situations. And another post says, You could tell who has and hasn't played Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door based on this conversation concerning the frame rate of the remake. It's not just a turn-based RPG. It has action commands, super guards, etc. They all rely on button timings that could be affected by the 30 FPS cap. Again, Nintendo's obviously going to fix the combat if it's at 30 FPS. From the people who have previewed and played the game, they said that it doesn't really affect anything and they just have to get used to the timing. The timing is obviously going to be different, but it's not going to be game breaking. Super guards and guards might be a little harder, but there's obviously going to be more frames to be able to perform them. I really don't understand why people are complaining about the timing, because it's obvious that Nintendo's going to fix all this. They're acting like this is just a port of the GameCube game with no changes and it's only at 30 FPS. Everything's going to be fixed to fit the 30 FPS format that it's in. I think that this argument is pretty useless. Since the Origami King, Color Splash, and Sticker Star all ran at 30 FPS, I don't see the problem here. Those games look and play great, and I didn't really see a problem with any of them. 60 FPS would be cool to have, but I understand why it's only at 30, and it's not really that game breaking. So what do you think about this? Do you think that the Thousand Year Door could have ran at 60 FPS, or do you think that 30 FPS is fine and you don't really care? Me personally, I would have liked for it to be at 60 FPS, but I understand why it isn't, and it's really not going to affect my enjoyment of the game. I'm still picking it up, and I hope you guys do too. Tell me in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video.